everyone, welcome back to my channel, Meals with Mac. I know it's been a minute since I posted and I apologize for that. But a lot of you know I'm in the active duty army and so my training requirement has called me to be away for a while. But I'm back, I'm here in my kitchen and I'm loving it. So I'm also feeling a little homesick. I miss the great state of Texas. And one of the things that I always try and do to try and keep me a little closer to home is get outside on my grill. It's a beautiful sunny day here in New York. The temperatures are still a little cold, but we're going to grill anyway. All right. So what's the meal for today? We're going to do smothered smoked turkey legs. All right. And then we're also going to do some of gratin potatoes with broccoli and bacon now out, out right there on the grill. All right. And of course, our cocktail on the end, Uncle Nearest Whiskey 1856. You guys excited? <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get started with our turkey legs. So what I have here are some really nice turkey legs that I got from my store. Okay, so the first thing we're going to, we want to do, I've already washed them, cleaned them, and uh, patted them dry. Alright, and then not only that, they're already at about a room temperature. Alright, so once they go out on the grill, they're not cold. Alright, you ever really want to put freezer or refrigerator cold meat out on the grill. Okay, so but what we're going to get go ahead and get started doing is ejecting the uh our turkey legs all right so first we're gonna start with some butter all right and i've just been warming this up on my grill i mean on my i've just been warming this up on my oven letting that get good and hot melted butter so i started with this this is about a stick a uh a stick of unsalted butter all right so we're gonna go ahead and add some onion powder to this and this is going to be our injection, guys. This is what we're going to inject into the turkey. All right, we're going to put some little garlic powder in there as well. All right, some thyme. And then we're going to finish it off with some Creole seasoning. All right. And then, again, this is what we're going to inject into our turkeys. All right, into our turkey legs. All right, so we're just gonna take our injector here. All right, and right about here in the flesh, as we come away from the bone, right up here in the flesh, the thicker part of the, of the turkey leg, I'm gonna inject it right in there. Do the same on this one. You'll see it come up a little bit, and if your your needle comes off, that's fine. Um, it's okay. You just reattach it. All right. And then we're gonna do the same on this one. And as it's going through the smoking process, as it's going through the smoking process juices that we're injecting into it is just going to help it to cook and baste in its own juices even further. All right, we're just going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, So the next thing we're going to do, now that we've injected our turkey legs, we're going to go ahead and season our turkey legs. And how we're going to do that is with the same, with the leftover uh, injection that we have, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're just going to add that to the top. And this is going to help our turkey, help the uh, seasoning to stick to our turkey legs. So we're going to rub that on, get a nice coat. Okay. All right. And then we're going to take our rub that we made and we're just going to add that to the turkey leg. The same seasons that we use for the injection, if you have some that just kind of residued over, that's fine. I'm just going to add that. The same season, the thyme, the garlic, 
garlic powder, the onion powder, the Creole seasoning, all of that we're gonna add right here on the top. Flip our turkey legs over. Just like that, guys. Look at that. All right. We're all over. We're going to cover the entire turkey legs with it. Now, at this point, you can let these sit. You can cover these in, uh, in a plastic wrap, put them in your refrigerator for about a about an hour, two hours, let it really, really marinate, let those flavors all come together and seal in. And then, of course, before you when you bring them out, once you put them in the refrigerator and you bring them out, you still want it to get back up to room temperature, so you're gonna wanna let them sit for a little while longer. All right, so for about an hour, hour and a half, let them get back to room temperature, and then they'll be ready to go out on your grill. All right, guys, hang out for a bit. Let's go ahead and get ready for the grill. All right guys, welcome back. So we're ready to get everything ready to head out to the grill. All right, so again, you can see I got my famous black cast iron skillet, and this is what we're gonna use to uh, smoke and smother our uh, our turkey legs on. All right, so again, we got our turkey legs here. All right, we got those seasoned and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and we got a rub on it. So we're just gonna take these and we're gonna place them right into our skillet like this here, all right? Got those ready. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our vegetables to it, all right? So first thing, of course, I always work with the Holy Trinity. All right, so we're gonna work with our red onions. I love red onions. I love the, the taste, the smell that they give to food, that just how they work so well with a dish. I try to use other onions and it's just, it's the red onions for me, so we're gonna go ahead and get those in there like that. All right, red onions. Next, we're gonna come with some green bell peppers, and I'm using a whole green bell pepper. And notice too, as well, guys, I got these really chunked up, really, really thick, nice cut slices. All right, because what we're gonna do is when we get ready to make our gravy, we're gonna pull these off and uh, the juice and everything from that, that's what we're gonna use as the base when we make our roux and we make our gravy to, suck, to uh, smother these, all right? And then last, we're gonna go ahead and put our celery in. All right, we're just gonna get those all good and around that like that. All right, okay, we're gonna season it off. Again, just the dry from our rub. Because right, I want those flavors, we're steady building flavors, guys. I want that same flavor all the way through everything. All right, so we're just going to add that to our dish, just like that. All right, and then we're going to finish it off with some salt. All right, and I'm using uh, sea salt, so we're going to do about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of sea salt. All right, and then right behind that, we're going to come with about half a cup, half a cup of uh, chicken stock that we're gonna add to it, guys. All right, and that's gonna help this be so tender. Now, this is going, like I said, we're gonna smoke these on the grill. All right, so this is going on my grill. My grill is right around 350 right now. I've just been checking it. All right, and I'm smoking with pecan wood. So this is gonna go about three, uh, -uh 350 on the grill for two hours, guys, two hours. So this one, it, this meal here is gonna take a little time, but again, I love it. It's just the time that it takes. Uh, I love it. I, you gotta be patient with it. All right, once you get it out on the grill and everything. All right, so if you can see right here, I'm covering it with my foil. All right, just like that, nice and loose. Enough that we wanna trap that heat and that moisture in, help those turkey legs to get tender, but at the same time, we want that smoke to get in. All right, so these are ready to go to the grill. Let's head outside. All right, guys, hey, welcome back. It's, like I said, it's a beautiful sunny day here in upstate New York. The 
wind's blowing, the sun's out, it's a clear day for a change. All right, usually with a bunch of snow and everything, but today it's a beautiful day. And like I said, I wanted to get out here and get on my grill. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna smoke these turkey legs out here on my pig grill. So like I said, I'm smoking around 350 degrees. And we're just gonna adjust that and just. All right, and I'm using, uh, I'm lucky enough that I actually have a pecan tree right here in my backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take these and I'm gonna put them on the center part of my grill right there. All right, and we're just gonna close this up. And like I said, they're gonna go for about two hours on the grill. All right, and we're gonna come back out and check them out to make sure they're going good and everything. Of course, we're gonna check the fire, but they're gonna go about two hours right here on the grill. All right, hang tight guys. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started on the uh, gratin potatoes. All right, so the first thing I want to do, I have some red potatoes that are here, small little red Irish, uh, Irish potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna just take my seasoning blend here. And what I'm using is the Creole seasoning, onion powder, uh, a little garlic powder, some salt, and just a little bit of thyme, a little bit of thyme. All right, I'm gonna just mix all of that in, all right. In my cast iron skillet here, over here I have some bacon, right? And the bacon that I fried up, this is the skillet that I use to do it. This, this is my smaller skillet. It's about a uh, about a six to eight inch skillet, all right? And uh, what I'm gonna do is take my potatoes, like so, all right? And I'm just layer them in here, all right? And I'm gonna set them up just like this, all the way around the skillet. And this is something that I've done before uh, uh, when uh, Kenley, she was, uh, when she was with me in uh, Lufkin, I had potatoes and she loves, she loves potatoes. She loves whether I do a, a baked potato or, uh, or I do just uh, mashed potatoes. And this was something different I wanted to try and she loves it. All right. So I'm going to just fill my little potatoes in with those, even my ends. Which I got them cut, I'm probably cut that one down a little more. All right, so we're gonna put that in there. All right, and then I'm gonna layer in my bacon. All right, and I'm putting just, I, I just half, I uh, half in my bacon. I'm gonna just layer those in there like that. All right, next I'm gonna come with my broccoli. And I'm gonna just put those in there like that. And then I diced up some jalapeno peppers as well. Dice those up really nice. I cord them, of course, so that it's not going to be too hot. I do like that flavor. I want I want this dish to have the flavor of the jalapeno, but not necessarily the heat behind it. All right. And then I'm going to take my mozzarella. Uh, well, actually, this is Parmesan I have right here. So I'm going to just sprinkle some nice Parmesan. As you see, guys, we're just going to kind of layer this all in. All right. So I got my Parmesan in there right now. All right. So now let's get ready with some more cheeses. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna come with some Romano. I just wanna grate that in there like that. Very good cheese, I love it. Has a nice flavor, nice bold flavor. Goes really good with the bacon. A really good smoky flavor that goes well with bacon. So I'm gonna just grate some of that in there like that. All right, and then uh, let's do some Asiago here. My last little bit of Asiago, I use it damn near on everything. All right, I use a lot of Asiago cheese, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna get that in there like that. And then of course, I'm gonna finish it off with the Gouda. I just had this new love affair with Gouda. And I mean, it, it just smells so smooth, tastes so good. Oh man, and then this one is a smoked Gouda. Uh, and again, a real, real good bacon flavor that comes out of it. I mean, I don't know how they're doing this Gouda <laughs> here, but man, this is good. All right. All right, and then we start the process all over again. I'm just put these potatoes right here on top, just like that, just like that, just like that. Like that. We don't have to worry too much about these guys because in this skillet, 
it's gonna cook just fine. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna, again, we're gonna put this out on the grill and we're just gonna smoke it. My grill right now is, like I said, I'm cooking the turkey legs at uh, 350 and it's been going now for about a good 45 minutes. Almost, almost qu not quite an hour just yet, but uh, it's been going that long right now. So we're gonna put these out here. These are gonna go on the grill again, same temperature on the grill, you know, 350. And uh, this will go for about a good 45 minutes, almost an hour. And uh, the thing about this, this dish here, you know, because we, we're smoking it, it's not gonna be under any direct heat. It's still, yeah, the heat, but it's not any direct heat or open flame or anything like that. So uh, we can let these go for a little while out there and they'll be just fine. Just fine. Matter of fact, uh, it, it really lets that smoke flavor get in. We're gonna let all that cheese melt and everything, and I'll tell you guys, it's gonna be amazing when we finish. All right, we're gonna top this off with some more bacon. Just like that. Oh, man, that's some nice little bacon slices right there. Put another one right there. All right, and then we're gonna top this off with some nice Romano uh, Parmesan cheese again. We're just building right on top of it, guys. Build it right there on top of it. All right. And we're doing double back again with the cheese again. The smoked Gouda. Just going to grate that on right on top. And like I said, guys, go as hard as you want with the cheese. I do. All right, it's the weekend. I'm gonna run it all off on Monday during PT anyway. All right, so might as well get it in now. <laughs> all right. I know that's kind of mound up pretty high. All right, we're gonna finish this off with this one. Get a couple of good passes of that in there as well. All right. All right, and now we're just gonna add some heavy cream to this. All right, I'm gonna just fill it in on the pockets on the side. And that's why I have my little, I have my uh, my towel here. Cause one, this is my new island, I just got it. I don't wanna make a big mess on it. Plus the skillet was still hot. Cause again, this is the skillet we fried the bacon in. All right, so we're just gonna add about, about a quarter cup, cup and a half of the cream to this. And we're just drizzling this down on it. It's gonna cook through, it's gonna, as it cooks through the dish, because it still has, I still have the bacon fat on the bottom. So all that's gonna come together during the cooking process, help this cheese and everything to melt. All those flavors come together, and this is gonna be really amazing, guys. Really amazing. Nice heavy cream. All right, let's get this on the grill. All right, guys, welcome back. So now we're ready for the next step in the process, and that's gonna be making the gravy for the turkey legs. All right, so I already got the turkey legs off the grill, and let's take a look at them and see how they are. Oh my God. So we see them, they're really good. They're really good and tender right now. All right, so we're just gonna take these off, and we're gonna go ahead and start making the gravy for the uh, turkey legs as we uh, go ahead and get ready to smother them. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these jokers off. And these are still, these are tender right now, guys. These are falling apart. I'm gonna try my best not to let them come apart. They're good and tender right now. And they've already been on the grill now for about a good hour, hour, uh, hour, hour, 45 minutes already. All right. So now, again, all that, uh, the onions, the bell pepper, the celery. All right, I'm gonna use this to go ahead and start making my gravy, all right? All right, guys, so welcome back. So we're finna go ahead and start making the, the roux for our gravy. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna add about a, two thirds of a cup of flour to this. And in this, what's our, what I already have is the, the onions, the bell peppers, the celery that uh, we had out on the grill earlier, all right? That's already out there, all right, and in here. And the the celery, the onions, 
and the bell peppers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. And as you can see, this is already starting to thicken up for us. All right. And what I wanna do is, we're gonna bring this up just a little bit. All right, cause I wanna cut that flour out of it. All right. Well, we see how it's nice and starting to thicken up, right? All right. So now we can start adding our liquids to it. All right. And I'm gonna add chicken broth. All right. And again, it's just a constant stir. It's a constant stir, guy. We want to get all that the flour cooked out of it and everything. A nice constant stir, and all of that. I'm gonna tell you, the smoke flavor is coming out. The all the the seasoning the creole seasoning that i use the butter you can just smell all of that all that flavor and everything is coming together really really nice all right and we're just going to continue to add add our liquids to it and right now i have my skillet on like a medium to high heat guys all right medium to high heat and what we want to do i just want to cook this until everything dissolves down all right, and it gets to that consistency that I want. All right. It's just a constant stir, guys. A constant stir. I would tell you that's where all the love for all your gravies is coming from, and that constant stir. And I would tell you, uh, some people do like a store-bought or a canned gravy or something like that. Just make your own. Make your own. I'll tell you, it just, it, nothing will taste better than your own gravy. In your own and just look how beautiful that is that cream dark brown richness of it like I said I did about about a two-thirds cup of the gravy and in mine I have the again it's the the celery the onions the bell pepper all right the uh, I, I started off with the uh, the uh, seasoning as well from the uh, from the uh, from the uh, turkey legs so that's in here as well all right so everything is still and I try and keep things as, as simple as possible guys when I cook uh, more so for myself it's just you know my, my grandma always taught me you know it's always you know keep it simple don't overcomplicate things you know you don't have to I'm gonna add just a little bit more chicken stock to that And again, we're just going to continue to stir. Continue to stir. Alright. And that's right where I want it to be at. Right where I want it to be at. And what we're going to do, we're going to add the turkey legs back to this. And then it's going to go back out on the grill for another uh, for another hour. And we should be good to go, guys. Oh, man, that's looking really good. Oh, that's looking good. Again, we're doing smothered smoked turkey legs, guys. Smothered smoked tur turkey legs. All right, guys, welcome back. So we got our gravy right where we want it to be. All right, I want to give this a final taste just to really see where I'm at with it. Mm. Oh, that's good, guys. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my turkey legs back to the gravy. I'm just going to drop them off in there just like that. And again, I'm trying to be overly cautious and careful with them because they're already very tender. And they're just falling off the bone already. All right. Perfect. All right, and now I'm gonna cover these. All right, so I take a little bit of this, just put it right there over the top, just a little bit, just like that. Oh my goodness, just like that. Oh. 
that's looking good guys all right let's cover these and get these back on the grid all right guys welcome back so our cocktail tonight is uncle nearest 1856 perfect for smothered turkey legs and our grind potatoes let's go okay so for our drink again uncle nearest 1856 and I will tell you, this drink can stand alone by itself. All right, so we're not going to do anything special with it. Uh, we're not going to dishonor the drink that way. All right, we're just going to do uh, about an ounce, ounce and a half. All right. And then we're going to add a little bit of lime juice to it. Again, nothing special. You know, this is a drink that can really stand on its own. Give it a little stir. All right. Uncle Nearest, 1856. Thank you, sir. Mm. All right, guys. So it's been the three hours. So let's take a look and see where we're at. Let's check our potatoes. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Those are perfect. Those are beautiful. And then let's take a look at our turkey leg starter show. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how beautiful is that. Oh, we're ready. We're ready. Let's get these in a plate. So there we have it, guys. Smoked and smothered turkey legs. And I loaded our grind potatoes. All right, let's plate these up. All right, so first, let's go ahead and do our, our grind potatoes. And again, we just did these with some, some nice Irish potatoes, some bacon, cream. We did our Parmesan cheese, Gouda cheese, smoked Gouda. We also added some broccoli to it as well. Just wanna add a little bit more on that, I know that's a little bit more than a regular serving, but I'm being greedy. We also did some jalapenos in there as well, some broccoli. All right, added some heavy cream to it. Just an amazing dish looking right there. And then, of course, to start the show, let's go ahead and get these turkey legs in there. We're going to put it right there. Oh, my gosh. All right, of course, yeah, I need a little gravy on that as well. Alright guys, so there we have it. Our grind potatoes, loaded our grind potatoes with bacon and cheese, jalapenos, broccoli, cream cheese sauce. Alright, and then of course the star of our dish tonight, the turkey leg with the gravy. Alright, and we smoked this all on the grill. And of course our drink tonight is the Uncle Nearest 1865. All right, guys, so there we have it. Another beautiful meal. Smoked, smothered turkey legs. Loaded, our grind potatoes. And of course, I drink tonight, Uncle Nearest 1856 whiskey. Thank you, guys. Again, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for following our channel. You guys have a good night. Enjoy.